Welcome to Travel Lake Superior. I am JP Fraser and today we are visiting the Lake Superior Art Gallery in Thunder Bay, Ontario. The Lake Superior Art Gallery has a large selection of regional and local artists from across the Lake Superior region, including woodland art from the Aboriginal communities. The Lake Superior Art Gallery has a large selection of artwork from across the Lake Superior region. If you are a photographer, they would be pleased to print your photographs onto canvas. The canvas brings an exciting new three-dimensional look and feel to your photos. They have a large variety of watercolor paintings from some of Thunder Bay's best watercolor artists. Peter Humanix, Watercolor paintings represent the beauty and power of Lake Superior. Evelyn Conrad's stunning watercolors reflect the serenity of the out of doors in the North of Superior region. Her rich colors draw you into her paintings. Patricia Bigelow's paintings in various mediums provide an abstract translation of the beauty of our northern landscapes. Thunder Bay artist Ray Swalick found an old rusty trunk hood on a bush road in the boreal forest west of Thunder Bay. He figures the hood came from an old Ford Fairlane or Ford Galaxy from the 1950s or 60s. Inspired by the natural beauty of the location where it was found on Swallow Lake, Ray came back with his painting supplies one sunny day and began to paint using the hood as his canvas. As he painted, the day clouded over and it began to rain, causing the acrylic paints to run, creating an enchanting illusion of a summer rainfall. When the paint had dried, he added some realistic details and coated the canvas with varnish for protection. Ray is also well known for his paintings of the Sleeping Giant, a well-known lamp formation near Thunder Bay. The Lake Superior region is also home of the Ojibwe and the Chippewa people. The gallery displays a large selection of traditional woodland and native art. Francis Esquiga was born in 1955 in McDermott, located on the eastern shores of Lake Nipigon, a large body of water northwest of Lake Superior. He is a member of the Rocky Bay First Nation. His watercolor and acrylic paintings show his own unique interpretation as well as the traditional woodland style of his heritage. Some of his paintings have been done on boreal forest birch bark and on deer hide with great success. Jean-Paul Levant's heritage is Ojibwe. Born in 1962, he was raised on Rat Portage Reserve near Kenora in northwestern Ontario. His work has evolved from doing portraits to detailed pen and ink drawings of wildlife. You will also enjoy the beauty and simplicity of his traditional native works in acrylic. Thank you very much for joining us today at the Lake Superior Art Gallery. My name is J.P. Fraser of Travel Lake Superior.